Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jennifer Kurtz and I am the ACE team senior specialist at the Children's Museum of Houston. And I would love to read Olivia by Ian Falconer to you today. Um, I would like to thank our, ponks, our sponsors at Philip 66 and their Read Strong All Year Long program for making it possible for me to read you the story from our home. So without further ado, let's read about Olivia by Ian Falconer. Okay. Written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. To the real Olivia and Ian, and to William, who didn't arrive in time to appear in this book. This is Olivia. She's good at lots of things. She's very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He is always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, and her dog, Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning after she gets up, she moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat. Olivia gets dressed. She has to try everything on. Let's count how many, how many changes she has. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's see, which outfit do you think she's gonna wear? I'm gonna guess this one. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make a sandcastle. She got pretty good. Looks like a skyscraper. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for you know what, her mother says. She doesn't look too happy about it. Of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Time out. And then after a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two, three. Oh, all right, three, but that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe.